Hi, welcome back to the, my fashion studio. And for our next tutorial, we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to um, sew a flat felled seam. This is a seam that is used in the industry a lot for heavier weight materials, mainly your jeans. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it and you'll see that the techniques are um, kind of time consuming and it's thick thick material, so it takes a special machine to do it. I'm not doing it on denim today, I'm just doing it on regular um, cotton material so that you can see um, much easier how to do the technique. Um, but when you do it on a true jean, um, it's thick and it takes special um, equipment. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two pieces of material and we are going to sew them together, um, right sides together, which I already have set up here. I'm gonna sew in white, so you'll be able to see a little bit easier. Um, we're gonna sew at 5 8 of an inch, starting a little bit down from the edge. And we're just gonna stitch that, make sure it's even. Let's get that stitch on there. Okay, so we've got our seam stitched. Now we're gonna take it over to the iron and we are going to press it open and I'm gonna grab my scissors very quickly. My bigger scissors and we are going to press this guy and then we're gonna press it, not open, but we're gonna press it to one side and make sure that your material is nice and flat. Turn over and see how we did. So one thing to think about, depending on the direction or which leg, if this is denim and you're making jeans, you're gonna press it to the side that you want the top stitching on the other side. So if you want it on this side, we would have pressed the seam allowance to the other side. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up and I need to trim down this under seam. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna trim it down. I have to cut this direction so I'm gonna have to move it. Um, I'm gonna trim it down um, under halfway. So that's a little bit under a quarter of an inch, making sure that I'm not trimming the top seam allowance or catching the actual material and cutting it. So there I got it trimmed. You can see I got it trimmed back to about a quarter of an inch. Okay, now we're going to give it a little press. Now the technique is we're going to fold under the top piece, the top seam allowance, over what we just cut. I don't know if you can get a good picture of that on the black, but I'm gonna come clear down almost to my stitch line. And I'm just gonna watch and make sure, do it from this side. I don't wanna go over the stitch line, because if I go over the stitch line, it's gonna create a bump. I'm gonna bring it right up to the edge. I'm gonna have to move my material. Right up there without burning my finger. Then once you have that done, you can fold it back over. So it looks really nice here on the inside. Give it a little press. Now to finalize it, we're going to stitch it down, but we're gonna stitch it from the right side because the, the top side always has a nicer stitch than the underneath side. So I'm going to stitch it down, sorry, this way, because I stitch better going that direction. Tucked up a little bit, get them under there. And I'm just gonna put a couple pins in just to help hold it down, because I don't want it to move on the inside. Okay, so I got it pinned on the outside. The inside is being held down. I'm gonna put one more down here so it doesn't slip when I get to the end. Okay, we're gonna move over here to the machine and I'm gonna stitch in white again. Normally you would top stitch in a top stitch thread, especially on jeans that have a thicker um, thread so it'll show up and look nice. But because I have a, a thinner fabric, we're just learning the technique. I am going to come in, um, there's many different ways that you can stitch this, but I'm gonna go ahead and stitch at about a quarter of an inch. 
which is the width of my presser foot. So I'm gonna push my, put my needle down right on the edge. So my presser foot's right on the edge of that seam. And I'm just gonna run it straight down with my presser foot on the edge. So this is the outside. So that should be looking similar to like a seam that you would see on um, a jean. Um, now what I'm gonna do, let's look at the back side. So he's tacked down over here where that is um, pressed under. So he looks nice on the inside. Um, now a technique that I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna give it a double stitch line because a lot of your jeans have a double stitch line. And I'm gonna sew my next one over here an edge stitch along this seam and hope that I stay straight so it'll look nice and professional, um, but you never know. Never know what kind of day you're having. So I'm gonna press that or get started stitching and just concentrate to sew straight right near the edge. So hopefully, and I, I should have started a little higher, but all of that will be in a, another seam. So that is what your flat felled seam looks like um, on the top. So it should look a lot like a jean stitch. And then the underneath side looks like that. So very stable, very secure. It's for these heavyweight garments that have a lot of use, a lot of laundering, very secure. Um, not gonna go anywhere and it's gonna hold up really, really well. I'm gonna flip that over one more time to show you. And I'm gonna bring over um, a few jean samples um, so that you can kind of look and compare. So this is what it looks like um, on an actual jean sample. This is what you should be familiar with that, that your jeans look like. And if we looked at the inside of that, it has the double stitching line as well. Now in the apparel industry, they have machines or equipment that does this whole step all in one step um, and folds them over, stitches it down. You can see the nice secure locking stitch that is used compared to my home sewing that's just a normal straight stitch. Um, but this is industry. So they, these jeans are meant for a lot of wear. It's meant to hold up over time um, and with a lot of laundering. Now, one thing I do want to mention that's kind of a cool um, fact that you may not realize, um, if you look at your jeans, most of the jeans have your flat felt or a welt seam that we'll do next on one side, and they have a regular stitch, a regular seam that has the overlock on it that we just, um, I just showed you on the other side. And the reason that this flat felt seam is only on one side is when you stitch it, you have to have everything open um, and be able to run it through the machine. There are special machines and equipment um, that you can like go around in a circle like what you have on your regular machine, um, but it has to be flat in order to do this technique. Um, so when you're sewing a jean panel, it's all open. You can run it through in that, um, that equipment and that machine and do that stitch. However, once it's sewn and you get ready to sew the other side, um, most machines can't handle a second seam that's completely open and flat because you see it's round. So most jeans just have one side or the other um, that has that technique. Um, if you see a flat felt seam on two sides, that is from a special um, piece of equipment. So just a little tad bit of information um, about the industry. So this is a one step usually. Um, cost is pretty minimal, um, but this is what you would expect if you were purchasing or buying a pair of jeans. So anyway, this is the technique for your flat felt seam. And um, the next tutorial, we are gonna do the similar um, seam finish, but a little bit different, called the welt seam. So come back and watch the next tutorial.